Hi, Ed from Turbo Ace. I'm going to explain the operation of the click on how to set it up for casual shooting as well as professional shooting. For casual shooting, you simply swing open the click, put the back plate behind your belt, swing the click back. and lock it into place. To remove it, you can compress the two plates, which makes it easier to loosen the belt. The belt needs to be released. Swing it back out and take it out. You can also add the pad but you do have to remove the bolt to install this pad. The clip can also be used to mount on a backpack. First, make sure the center bolt or the center clamp is completely retracted by turning it clockwise. Completely loosen the bolt, but you do not need to remove them. Put the back plate behind the left side of the strap. Swing, swing the click back and lock it into place. Now compress each side while you tighten the bolt. You do not need to tighten the center bolt as it is disabled. To remove it, simply untighten by compressing the click. For a professional shoot, the click can be set up with the optional pro belt. The pro belt comes with a miniature pad. and a full professional camera pad. First, remove the, bar the buckle by pressing the center pin with your left hand while squeezing the clamp with your right hand. Open the back of the miniature pad. There are two holes in front of the belt. You must remove the two top bolts completely. You do not need to do this if you don't use the pro belt. But when you want to integrate the click with the pro belt, the back plate must be removed. Once removed, completely extend the center clamp all the way out by turning it counterclockwise. Put the back plate through the two holes on the probe belt. Align the center hook to the back plate and hook it like this while you align the top two screw holes. Now return the two bolts by turning it clockwise.
lock the Santa belt down. The Pro belt comes with two adjustments. You can adjust it on the left side and the right side. Now normally you only need to adjust the left side but for extra large person or really slim person you can adjust the strap on the right side as well. To adjust it you simply push the belt the strap in and loosen it or tighten it. Normally I will leave this without any adjustments. To complete the installation, put the strap back and then close the miniature pack. The miniature pad provides the convenience uh, of not carrying around a pad that can possibly make you uncomfortable cutting to your lap and or gets in the way. But if you do want the extreme comfort on an extended shoot and you do a lot of walking around and you don't want the camera to bounce on your lap you can add the camera pad to do that again I have the two bolts completely removed from the click loosen the center bolt and remove it now while the back plate still in the pro belt Fully extend the clamp on the on the click by turning it counterclockwise. Insert the center clamp into the pad. Now the center clamp must be fully extended, so there's enough room to hook on the back of the plate. Now I have it hooked to the back of the plate and I have it aligned the two, the two screw holes. Hold everything together including the click, the pad, pro valve, the back plate and return the bolts. Tighten the center bolt. Make sure the clamp is still in place. Now we have the pad completely integrated with the pro belt. Next we are going to get into the quick release plate. There's three types of quick release plates. I have the pro plate, which comes with the click as a package. I have the dual compatible RC2 and Frodo compatible plate. This also works with the Aqua Swiss, Aqua Swiss plate system. And I have the universal quick release plate that you can customize all your gear that can be attached to the click, such as this case. There are four screw holes over here and you can put screws through the case 
and tied it to the case. You can also use this for GoPro or a cell phone case. Now let's go over the Pro Quick Release Plate. So, again, to remove the click from the Pro Bell, compress the plate while turning the boat counterclockwise. The Pro Quick Release Plate has a ton that makes it easy to glide in to the click. Once it glides in, a simple pull of your pinky will release your camera. To install this plate to your camera, turn the plate around and there are markings behind large and small camera size. So what that means is, if you have a smaller camera, you can install it so your pinky end grip is further away to allow the proper distance for the, to, to pull the trigger. Once I have that adjusted, you simply tighten it with a flathead screwdriver or a coin. You want to make sure this is completely tightened so it does not come loose. Lock, release it with the pinky. Next, I want to explain the RC2 dual compatible quick release plate. The same plate can be installed on the bottom of the camera. I have the RC2 plate currently installed. on the Canon 5D Mark IV. Release. Once it's released, you you can turn the camera 90 degrees or you don't have to turn the camera, you can turn the tripod 90 degrees until the opening of the RC2 plate quick release matches with the front of the RC2 quick release plate. Simply put it in, click down locking. You can also, the same plate also can be attached to a Akka Swiss quick release system. So you don't turn it 90 degree. That locks in. So all the plates are Aqua Swiss compatible. The dual quick release plate is Aqua Swiss and RC2 compatible. The third quick release plate we have is the universal quick release plate. There are four mounting holes. You can put screws through to lock into your cell phone case, 
or your lens case or any accessory case and customize it to fit on the pro belt. Next, I want to explain the safety feature of the click. I have a fail safe strap here with clamps on both sides. You can release it by holding the button and slide it in to the back side of the pro quick release plate. This is, however, is not compatible to the dual quick release plate for the RC2. The other end of the clamp goes in to the side of the click. By opening the clamp just the right amount, you can insert and detach from the side of the click. This provides a security link between the camera and your holster in case of accidental drop. To release it, simply hold the clamp down and pull it out. Another safety feature of the click is the security lock. Notice there is a bolt on the side of the click that you can tighten to lock your camera. Let's say if you are not going to be using the camera for some time or you're going to be packing it for transport. You simply can turn this bolt clockwise to lock your camera to the holster. Notice if I pull the trigger the camera will not detach from the click. To loosen it and disable the security lock, you simply turn it counterclockwise. Now, when I pull on the trigger, I can release it. You want to make sure the security pin is completely disabled by turning that by turning it completely counterclockwise. Otherwise the locking pin will jam the track. Lastly, I have a second camera pad and a, an optional travel belt that can be used together with the click. To install the click on the travel belt, you first must remove both bolts completely. Like the Pro Belt, you insert the back screw post through these two holes, like this. And the click can be installed on a compact travel belt. There's also an optional expanded funnel that you can attach with two screws to the top of the click. This allows you for greater angle of insertion, making it easier to holster. Lastly, this is the optional second camera holstering system. You must use this pad together with the probe belt. To install it, first make sure the adjustment buckle is all the way to the left side. Open the two Velcro strap on the back 
of the pad. Hook this clip. By sliding the belt back and forth, you can hook it completely in. Once it is completely in, wrap the velcro strap around the belt. This prevents any accidental dismounting of the second counter pad from the belt. This concludes a two camera holstering system. Thank you for watching and happy shooting.